Belgium. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Evie. This is Talia. What we have for you guys today is a keto uh, blueberry and berries cobbler. I tried to do it raspberry and just blueberries, but they didn't have any fresh ones or frozen ones. So I'm adding two cups of blueberries and one cup of mixed berries. Hi. So let's get to the ingredients. Okay, guys, the ingredients we're going to be using today are going to be a cup of almond flour. Two and a half tablespoons of erythritol or if you have Splenda, any sweetener of your choice. We have Xanthan gum. I will leave a picture at the end so you know what it looks like, but that's what it's spelled like. X-A-N-T-H-A-N gum, G-U-M. We're going to use some zest of a lime and the, uh, of a lemon and the juice of the lemon. This, uh, we're going to use two tables, no, three tablespoons of butter. And my zester. And then, of course, I'm going to use this one cup of mixed berries because they didn't have a bigger pack of the blueberries. But it's two cups here of the blueberries and one cup of the mixed berries. What I also forgot to mention is you're going to need a 8 by 8 square dish or whichever one you have. Now, what you want to do is you want to take coconut oil or any aerosol spray that you have. I only have canola, so that's what I'm going to do, but ideal one is the coconut one because this is keto. So remember, you want this. So in a bowl, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my... I'm going to add my pack of berries. This is one pound, 16 ounces, so everybody knows a cup is 8 ounces. So two cups of blueberries, juice and all, you want this. And this is one cup of mixed berries, so like I said, I want uh, raspberries, they didn't have any. So I'm just going to add this in here. Juices and all. This is such a pretty, beautiful color. It's so pretty. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to add sandum gum. And this is only one fourth teaspoon. This is like um cornstarch when you want to make things a gravy or something like that this is the same thing so one fourth but this is keto approved so sprinkle that in real good remember i will leave what the looks you can even actually find this at walmart and then you want to do two tablespoons of the sweetener of your cook That background, yeah, baby. So two and a half, guys. That's all you're gonna put in here. Then, zesting. You want to just do the yellow. You do not want the white because you don't want it to be bitter. Sorry, because you guys are seeing what I'm, what I'm doing. So you just want to zest it. Take out as much of the yellow as you can. I'm sorry for the background noise, guys, but the only way I can record is this way because, you know, grandma duties. See, I'm barely getting the yellow. So, while you're doing this, turn on your oven to 375 back finally got the baby to sleep so what you want to do now you want to cut your lemon i'm going to cut off this little tip so that it can fit in my squeezer <coughs> barely
There we go. We wanted about a table, a teaspoon. I know I got a little bit more than a teaspoon, but that's fine because I like it so uh, soury. Just give this a good mix. Remember the xanthan gum <clears throat> that we use is gonna make this nice and thick. So what you wanna do? You wanna spray your your dish. Like I said, use coconut, guys. Any of your choice, even the butter one, except for olive oil. You don't wanna do olive oil with desserts. You need that weird flavor. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add all our berries in here. Remember, preheat your oven 375. Mine is already there. So now we just leave that there. We're going to set this aside and then we're going to make our topping. Okay, now for our topping, I'm going to use butter, real butter. I'm going to take three tablespoons from here and we're going to you put that in the microwave because they need it to be melted. So, I'm going to put this in the microwave, maybe 15 seconds. Okay, I'm back with my melted butter, but the first thing I'm going to add is a cup of almond flour. This is the Walmart brand, but honestly, the best one, and I'm just waiting to finish this, is that blue diamond brand, the one we have at um, Sam's Club. Yeah, so one cup of the almond flour to this i forgot to mention i'm gonna add a pinch of salt literally like about an eighth an eighth of a teaspoon because as you know salt brings out the um the flavors in desserts and we're gonna do two And a half of the erythritol again just because the, the erythritol doesn't sweeten as much as other sweeteners and then we're gonna add our butter just like that and then I use this one for everything my favorite we're just gonna mix all of this all together until it becomes a nice little crumble for our topping like this this is how it should be looking I'm talking a little low because i don't need to wake up the baby but i do have the mic on my phone so let's see how that works out see beautiful so now, take our, our, um, what is it? <laughs> Not our, yeah, our filling. And we are going to crumble this on top. Make sure you get the edges. Ooh, it's going to be so good. I know Punky can't wait to taste this because Punky likes blueberry. And so does Lisey. And I'm glad I added more lemon juice because I, I like it when it's soury. I just don't like when they make some kind of pie and it doesn't have any tartness to it. I don't like it. They do that a lot with blueberry. That's why I don't think I'm, I think that's why I'm not a fan. Look at this guy, delicious. Spread it around, try to get it evenly with your fingers. Get your hands. There it is. So this is what it looks like. See, deliciousness. I'm gonna go pop this in my oven, 375 for 20 minutes. If yours takes longer, because you do know uh, ovens vary, so it might be from 20 minutes to 25, even 30, depending on your oven. So we'll be back when this is done. Okay, guys. So here it is. It took 25 minutes. Here it is. You pay attention, you can hear. And it's beautiful and it's nice and golden. I don't know if the camera captures it really well, but it's still nice, hot, and bubbly. So we're just going to let it cool off here. 
and then later I want to taste it it's just really hot but I do want to show you the consistency of this nice and beautiful and that's about the serving size you would do i have a this is like as big as my hand kind of almost just a little bit right there perfect if you add keto vanilla coffee uh ice cream to this it would be delicious but this is what it looks like i think i'm gonna give it a little try okay i like this side first It's just super hot. If Punky was here, she would be tearing this up. Mmm. Mmm. That topping's really good and crunchy. Do add the pinch of salt. It does make a difference. Salt is needed to bring out the flavors of the of the sweetness and desserts. Mmm so good mm. so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for all my new subbies uh, my channel is growing so much and I'm so excited about that so thank you for watching thank you for everything for all your beautiful comments guys um, don't forget to like share and subscribe this um, uh, copper is really good so thank you guys for watching take care and God bless